Hey, how you doing? Dan Jones. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been on here. Um, yeah, I, I kind of have a goal of, you know, maybe being a little more consistent. I, I do live quite a uh, art life. I just haven't worked, uh, you know, spent a lot of time videotaping it. But I usually got something going on. Yeah, this thing behind me is a, a brand new painting that I've been working on for uh, a month. Uh, but I haven't been working on it every day. I'm slowly trickling it in and then slowly trickling it out uh, for its meaning. And it, it really hasn't grabbed me and pulled me in. But I am uh, I'm trying some different techniques. I... You know, I'm kind of shooting for a more painterly, uh, that's, that's a overused word, but I don't know. We all know what that means. It, it just like, uh, I love some of these plain air patterns, man. These, some of these guys are amazing, man. Some of these guys and gals doing this plain air stuff, man. Working beautiful patterns of color. You know, lately I've been into uh, lines. Lines and form are really, they really have my attention. So it, it, it's lines that are created in these paintings and these forms. Because once you have the form, then you get to shade it. And you have to figure out where your, where your light source is coming from and then put everything in the painting if it's what you want as one light source or multiple or interior light or whatever light you want. But anyway, this one, I'm kind of dealing with a lot of that. So I have some uh, exterior luminosity kind of uh, colors, some uh, the, the technique of, of painting white and then laying in uh, translucent colors, which acrylics are really good for that. They're so thin. You can put on nice washes over white or whatever you choose for your base color. And, and then you can develop color that way and do layers and layers and layers, which is sort of, you're almost having to deal with uh, using translucent mixing methods with acrylic because they are so transparent. Unless, of course, you go real thick with a knife and palette and you just kind of lay it on these big, huge patterns of solid color. Then then they work uh, opaque-wise. But you got to have a lot of paint to do that. So anyway, excuse me. Uh, so that, that's starting to be something. You know, I got a little chamber going that dark area, going underneath the... And I got all these kind of uh, demonic looking characters or there's one there and, and they have a couple here that I'm starting to develop. These three belong in that little quadrant. And then there's this character up in here you can't see too well. And then there's this character here and some kind of chamber. I always like to have these exhaust, these vents you know, because some, some of these paintings can develop a sort of a, a pressure that you need. The viewer needs a little bit of relief. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. And uh, so anyway, that's kind of the crux of, of that painting. And I'll, I'll, I'll do a tape here that, um, that delves a little deeper into the detail of it as it gets a little more... Pro, uh, 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 progress because it's right now it's you know it's got some interest to me but again I'm you know I'm shooting for fresh content and uh, new uh, painting styles uh, I'm on a right angle canvas uh, eh, you know that's sort of an ease of process on that one but I I, I have issues with the uh, the boxes that we paint in <clears throat> but anyway, oh, here's, I'm, I've been meaning to get to you on this a little bit late. I was going to start this back in uh, uh, 
December when I first got them, but I, as it turns out, I didn't. And what I've done on my website, danjonesart.com, I've got into some merchandising. Ooh, we know what that's more on that later. But you can go, you can go uh, to the website and and get some T-shirts and tote bags and and this right here, as you can see it. That's yes, Moses. That's right, yes, Moses. This is my calendar, and it, it's really a well-built calendar. Really nice, thick paper, and it's it's not a shiny surface. It's a beautiful matte surface, so there's no glare. And then this is the uh, way that the it's set up. Excuse its backwardness. That's fire she, and then you can see the calendar below it in October. Uh, this is the January. Now the beautiful thing about this calendar is that you know what's he selling calendars for in in uh, February and March? Well, you know these calendars can be sold year round because we have we have an, your ability to start the the calendar at any day you want. You know if you order one in J July, you can start your calendar in July, and uh, you just have to click that on the options when you're ordering these calendars. So there are 13 images in this, all of the Edge series paintings. So if you go to the website, you know, you can, you can click on, on the art prints and you can see what's in here. And the post of She Tree. So anyway, that this calendar right here. And uh, it runs for around twenty-six dollars plus shipping. Uh, and it's it's just what it is. And these are nice to have uh, hanging around in your in your office area or oh, I don't think people don't keep calendars in their bathroom, do they? Eh, you know, something to think about. Uh, but again, just a nice calendar. It's got a little hole here to hang it up and it's quality enough that you could actually uh, uh, frame it. So that being said, uh, and again, uh, you know, check out the, uh, the um, uh, merchandise, kind of fun, you know, you've got some, I, I'm going to bring, I'm uh, getting some mugs in. And uh, tote bags, three different sizes there, and uh, some t-shirt designs. I'm just starting to come up with some new designs, so check back on that. I'll, I'll be announcing those as we go along. So that's, <clears throat> that kind of brings us up to date. And again, you know, it's, it's my desire to, to, um, be a little more consistent. There's a lot. There's a lot to be told here, with uh, uh, about the art, and and I think if I give a little more patience to myself, I might be able to pull this off uh, to where it's uh, uh, interesting. Yeah, it's got to be interesting, right? There's so much on the internet these days. Oh my God, I get caught up in it just like everybody else. You know, these, the visuals and, and the animation. Oh my God, it's just America and human beings in general are the most, I would consider up there the most amazing entities on this planet. If not the main event. It's just amazing that we have all these senses to perceive all the things that have put it in front of us. And I am eternally grateful for that. So uh, I will return 
And uh, let's just see uh, what we can do with this. I might put this on YouTube. Uh, anyway, take it easy. And uh, it is so and so it is. Damn.